guess what, Duncan? What? Our little baby podcast is now an adult podcast. Are we still doing this joke? It's not really a joke, it's just 19. Yeah. It can vote. It can, in Canada, it can drink. Good. Welcome to episode 19. I'm Colin. That, that I'm is done. already said. I'm this done. is Duncan. I'm very tired. It's very hot out. It's very hot. I don't like the summer. No, it's fucking awful. So, how you been? I beat Dark Souls 3 last night. Oh, good. 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 Something we can talk about. It's been a very slow week. It was awful. I stayed up until 2 a.m. doing it. Now, are you going to get the DLC? I don't think so. I might be able to get it for you for free. I, I don't think I'm going to play the But that's game. more Dark Souls content. I, I, mm, I, I'm taking a break from Dark Souls. A new final Sorry. boss. No. No. I think I'm done with Dark Souls 3 for a little bit. Until I... Until my sense of masochism comes back. But holy fuck, the Lord of Cinders is a dick. I didn't think it was that hard. I mean, compared to the twins or Pontiff, the two that gave me quite possibly the most problems. Yeah. I haven't attempted the last boss in Arch Dragon Peak. Oh, no, see, I would do that first. I, I actually, you know, what, saving it for last isn't wrong either. I would, I would say that boss is the hardest boss in the game. So. Yeah. Saving that for the end might be the best. Yeah, no, I just saw he was optional, and I was like, okay, let's take a little peek <laughs> in this at this guy. And then immediately, I was... there. There's like a level of defeat that's just like so demoralizing that it's just like, okay, I'm... Okay, I, I get my place on the food chain. Yeah, well, and it was And it wasn't just like... Okay, I'm beaten. It was like, holy fuck, dude, calm down. What uh, what ending did you get? I got the usurper ending. Cool. I don't know the difference. In instead of lighting the flame or extinguishing you the flame, you take the flame inside you. Right. I don't remember what I did. It's been too long. I had grand ambitions, Colin. <laughs> Much like Griffith. It's a, it's a good game. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm surprised that uh, you have no interest in the DLC. Part of it's because I don't really want to spend money. I told you, I got, I got a hookup. Oh, you got a hookup? Yeah, my PlayStation's attached to yours. You have the DLC. <laughs> Or you should, anyway. I don't know. Um, and then at 2 a.m. I created another character rather than start New Game Plus. Oh, well, okay. You're not wrong. New Game New Game Plus is something I actually usually don't do in those games. Yeah. Because I was just reading through it and all it really does is buff the rings. And enemies hit harder and have more health. It's just the game gets harder. Yeah. And I was kind of like, well, as much as I'd like to try and continue on my character, I kind of just don't. I kind of want to make a new character. <laughs> I think Bloodborne's the only game like New Game Plus. Which is probably why the DLC was as hard as it was. Because my first time through the DLC was on New Game Plus. Ah. So, it's not very fun. Yep, so... I pretty much just just ran through everything, found out that bosses don't tend to handle stairs well. Is there stairs in that fight? Uh, well, the first tutorial boss, mm -hmm. if you drag him back towards where you came through, there's just that, there's stairs, and 
when he goes into his big pus of humanity form. Yeah. If you just kind of leave him at the top of the stairs and then go down a little bit, there's such a difference that he can't hit you. Or at least maybe I was just getting lucky. Could have been that. But it was basically, like, him in this little tiny corridor and me, like, it was a tight battle and I was like, this is a mistake, I shouldn't be doing this. And then I just one got him down in one go and I'm just like, okay, this is how I'm going to cheese every fight. Just find some, find a place where there's a noticeable difference in altitude and just cheese it like that. Are you going to try to be one of those guys that just goes through the game without getting hit? No. <laughs> I've already fucked that up. Start a new character every time you get hit? Start a new character every time I get hit. No. Um, other than that, um, animes are starting to wrap up mm-hmm. because we're coming into the summer season. Um, Berserk's over. Yep. And if you... Typically, after watching an anime such as that, like, there, there's this, okay, I'm relieved, it's finally over, I can move on with my life, and I don't have to continue watching this train wreck of a series. But there's more. There's more. The credit sequence at the end is all done in 2D. Mm-hmm. Not, not 3D. And all the characters look beautifully drawn. And... I really liked it, and I sat there going, why couldn't we have this? I might have to look it up the th- to see the difference. Oh, just, just the characters look so nice. And then, at the end of the credits, it just cuts to a title, uh, title, to a title card that says, The Story Continues. And I'm sitting there, my I can feel just the vessels in my head bursting, going, God, I hope not. I mean, you shouldn't really be surprised. I mean, wasn't that already the second season? Yeah. Yeah, so of course there's more. No. Pe- people because, are watching it. Because, Colin, here's the thing. We're getting on to the boat uh, arc. Yeah, not, I mean... And it's going to be like, what, 20 years? 18 yeah, years? Th- that's like 10 seasons. Yeah. 10 seasons of him on the boat. And then the, the... Didn't the manga take a break again? Yeah, the manga's back on hiatus. And I'm kind of sitting there going, like... People will have lived and died... With him in, on the boat? With him on the boat, alone. Who knows how long this next hiatus is gonna last? 20 years. 20 years? More people will have lived and died. Yet a generation will have gone by. I don't know why they just don't finish it unless it's a uh... well i mean how do you finish it i don't know i'm not a writer they are figure it out like write an ending everyone dies mm-hmm. there you go okay there's Done. one possible ending uh guts kills griffith and then what griffith's trying to or this new griffith griffith is uh apparently uniting the countries and pieces and then guts is like no i want to kill i want to kill griffith so is guts the bad guy now what if they're brothers i think the more interesting one would be lovers uh, griffith is actually guts son i mean i guess that's not that exciting though but it makes uh, but i mean you know the the fetus turned into Griffith mm-hmm. and then Griffith is just like bam I'm gonna go on a rampage now I don't know I know nothing about Berserk other than his name is Guts there's a weird fairy and Puck. a lot of boat jokes a lot of boat jokes that didn't take long at all no of course not no yeah. uh Euro manga finally wrapped up oh boy was that the last episode? That was the last episode that we watched. Okay, so I've never seen any episode other than the last, I don't know, 12 minutes of the very last episode. That's some lewd shit. Yep. 
Um, it's too much for me. I really like eh, it. It's kind of those guilty guilty pleasure animes. I enjoy every second of it, and then I can't tell my family or friends that I enjoyed it. Well, that's why I don't like those shows. It, is every show I watch, I want anyone to, to be come able. in the room and have little to no questions. Yeah. So I can't watch shows like that. I mean, that being said, like, show had some jokes. Yeah. It was, you know, it was all right. Um, more of the how can my sister be this cute uh, cast showed up in the last episode. Mm -hmm. And I was, like, I was sitting there watching it, and I damn near grabbed my couch and just flipped it. And was like, the world, the universes are connected. I imagine you were very excited. I, I, another guilty pleasure, I loved that show. The main girl was a bitch, but I still like that show. I don't know what show that is. How can my sister be this cute? Yeah, I've never seen it. Well, Colin. I don't watch a lot you of anime. You should watch some anime. Um, you yeah, know, other than that, not a lot. Not a whole lot. Saw those Captain America spinners. Yay. Picked up a fidget cube. I said it before. Pretty neat. The cubes are better than the the spinners, but I'm so glad to have met someone who's on my side, finally. Oh. Who just insults people with spinners? I was very happy to meet that person. Oh. Well, and by meet, I mean I've known them for years. I just didn't know they hated fidget spinners as much as I did. So. I'm glad I'm not alone, because I was starting to get outnumbered. Actually, I've been outnumbered since day one. Because it seems like two of our friends are super into them, and then everyone else is kind of indifferent. Yeah. And then you bought a cube, so that's, that's a gateway cube. I don't think I'd spend $11 on one again. I don't know, man. No. Come out in AB Unit 1 colors? No. No way I'm spending $11 on something like that. Fuck that. It's a piece of dollar store trash. But they're hip. Yeah, and I'm almost 30. Seeing, seeing people spinning them and doing dabs? <laughs> spinning them and doing dabs, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Mm. Okay, if you say so. It's not cool. Mm. Dabbing's cool. No, it's not. Spinners are not cool. Stop, Colin. Um, Dabbing. How, how was your week? Well. Because other than magic card buying my first deck of magic cards in a long ass time, that that's about it. Well, it's a very boring week for me. Uh. What did I do? Oh, I thought I finished Little Witch Academia and was like a little heartbroken. Yeah. It ended on a huge cliffhanger. <laughs> and then I found out there's one more episode in it. It's today, so. I'm happy. And if that one also ends on a cliffhanger, I'll be upset. So. That's coming to Netflix. Yep. End of the month. Oh, yeah. end of the month? Yeah, the 30th. Holy shit, that's... They're just waiting for it to all air first. Okay. And then they're going to put and the whole season on. Fuck. Neat. Get to see that Steamboat Willie episode? It's not as exciting as you think. It's, oh. on, it's only, like, a few minutes of one episode. I got very excited when, when I saw the gifts. I thought it was, like, a whole episode. Yeah. It is not. But that's a damn fine show. Yeah. Um, other than that, what have I done? I bought Next Machina. I'm not really sure why. It was. What? A, why not? Well, I told myself I'm not buying any more games till the fall. I have yeah. enough. Yeah. Like, enough that I haven't beaten. Because I'm. 
I'm sure I'm in the double digits of games I have not beaten. And uh, and then it was like, oh, next Machina's out. I was like, cool, I'll buy that right now. And then I did. And it's very good. The game is uh, real fun. It uh, It's Resogun plus Smash TV, basically. If you're familiar with either of those, I don't imagine you are. I've never heard of either of those. Well, uh, Smash TV was a Super Nintendo twin stick shooter uh, that I loved as a child. Uh, it was one of the few games me and my brother bonded over. And Resogun was a launch PS4 game that was just a real good, real pretty side scrolling shooter. Uh, oh, I binge watched a show for the first time in my life. I started it yesterday, and oh. 12 hours later, I finished it. Um, so that's, I don't know, I guess that's binge-watching shows is normal these days. Yeah. But to me, it seems crazy. A little bit. That 12 hours of my last 24 was, an entire show was consumed. Why is that weird? Because I, I don't do that. I don't watch that much television. I watch, you know, a show a week, maybe. Yeah. I don't sit down for hours. But I, I watched Glow. Uh, a show about... It, set in the 1980s, all about women wrestling. Okay. Which, uh... I don't really like wrestling. Like, I did as a kid. Like, I love WWE and stuff. But... I definitely don't care about it anymore. But the show was just, uh... I don't know, it was different. It's got some emotional moments. It's funny. Yeah, it's just different. You just don't see a, uh... athletic-based show about women. Mm -hmm. So it was... You know, it's different. It's good. Watch it. It's good. I know you won't, because it's live action. But... Alan Allison wants to see... Women fight each other in uh, very terrible wrestling, but in those 80s leotards. Check out Glow. Um, what else have I done? Uh, well, I'm in the market for, for moving. Yeah. And uh, I'm getting a little carried away with that because I learned. Now, I don't know if you know this. I'm sure you do. You've just never put two and two together. Just like I never have until this week. When you... You can just book a viewing anywhere. They don't know how much money you make. Yeah. I've got some places I'm going this week... That I guarantee... I will never afford in my lifetime. But they don't know that. So I'm going to waste their time. And just go look at ritzy apartments. <laughs> Why? Uh, well, now, I know anyone who does not live in downtown Halifax will not know this, but you know the building they're still working on in the middle of town? It's got yeah. those cool angles? Yeah, it's got those cool angles. Yeah, I'm going there on Tuesday. <laughs> those buildings aren't even... It's not even done. No, but they have, like, a warehouse where all the... There's, like, model units of, like, oh, here's yeah. what they will look like. So, so I'm going to go there and just waste their fucking time. I'll show up in shorts and a graphic tee. And I imagine they'll be like, he can't afford this. Sir, what are you doing here? <laughs> are you trying to punch above your weight? But I looked at another place that, like, the guy was like, oh, yeah, these buildings have been here since the 70s. And, like, the hallway was straight out of The Shining. Yeah, and it's like, oh, and it shows. Yeah, I was like, oh, I don't, mm -mm, don't like it here. No, I think uh, when I first was looking for an apartment here, I found one that was like $500, and my dad was like, no, it's $500, it's fine. We get in there, there's rat traps everywhere. I asked them, where, where, where do you have a coin-operated uh, laundry machine? And he's like, yeah, it's outside in another building. And I'm like, oh, that's going to be fun in the <laughs> winter. When, if someone says their laundry's in another building, that tells me that you're not even allowed to do that. There, it's just like a oh yeah, it's just just go use theirs. They won't know. Yeah. Um. But Jesus Christ, they're like yeah no, 
five hundred dollars for this, and I'm sitting there going, like, "You've got this place ripped apart, rat traps everywhere. This is the best apartment you could have shown me. Are you even trying? Like you're supposed to be selling this to me, like selling this, like." You must not have done very good in whatever kind of bachelor of business. I don't know. Bachelor of BA? Sure. I don't know. I don't think you need anything to, to sell, sell apartments. sell apartments, but fuck, he was not selling. Like, I think when you're, when you're a landlord or someone who's kind of selling an apartment, or rent, rents an apartment to people, mm-hmm. you need to be able to sell that apartment. Yeah, you need to and make people when want it. You see, when you when I walk into a room and I just see literally a rat, tra- like two or three rat traps in every room, and then the sink is rusted to hell, and just everything's torn to shit. I'm like, could have showed me something better. See, see, for me, uh, almost the biggest thing that turned me off that weird seventies place. It's like, the size was fine. It's the murder children? The rent was fine. The murder children were fine. Uh, I mean, really, the view was terrible, and that's half the reason why I don't. Because it's like, 20 feet away, I'm looking at someone else's balcony. Yeah. I'm like, that? No. I don't want that. But the real thing was, the guy was late to his own meeting. Mm. Like, he picked the time. And he was He's late. showing the building. And he was late. I was like, dude, now I don't even want to live here. And then I found out they've got, like, one fucking laundry machine. I was like, oh. ugh. I was like, no. Not again. I was like, I come from a place that's got, like, 12, so I can really do my laundry whenever I want. Yeah. So that's been exciting. I'm going to keep looking at places I can't afford, though. Because I like, I like pretending I'm a big shot. Because they don't know I'm lying. Mm. That's always fun. Uh, so, th- this morning, I was getting like, I don't know what you'd call it, life shamed, I guess. <laughs> oh. Uh, my roommate was just like, trying to say how much like how much fun she's having what the hell does that mean uh that's how much an apartment a two bedroom apartment here would run us oh we bunk together hetero life mates there's a there, there's a lot more gears running in that equation <laughs> yeah that is very cheap there's also no power so that's fine I don't pay for well <laughs> I don't pay for power no it's not included where I live right now anyway yeah um, anyway, life shaming. Uh, oh, right. So, so my roommate had like a stereotypical perfect night, apparently. Oh. According to them. Uh, they're like, yeah, I went out for drinks and then we went, had, had a bonfire and then we came back and watched the sunrise. And I was like, cool. You woke me up being loud as fuck when you came in to watch the sunrise and now I'm going to sit here and watch Glow all morning. And she's like, well, I had a great night. And I was like, well, I had a great time watching Glow and going to bed at 10 p.m. on a Saturday. And I bet I enjoyed that just as much as going out and having a life. Don't life shame me. Everyone everyone likes different things. I think that's my point. So you didn't go to bed at 10 p.m.? No, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. I watched five episodes of Glow and went to bed. Okay. I, you know what my idea of a great night out is? Full eight hours rest. It's a great night. One of these days, you're just going to come to work with a little baggie, and then it's going to tear open, and there's just going to be a hand falling out <laughs> of it. Well, I mean... And then some poor little kid's going to be like, holy shit, you got to stand, and then you're going to go into this long, extensive monologue about how you love getting eight hours of sleep, and how you love the quiet life, and how anyone who interrupts that is going to fucking explode. I mean, if I could do that, yeah, I would. 
if I had Kira's powers, I would 100% abuse them. Just blowing up middle <laughs> school students? Uh, I mean, I got no beef with any current middle school students. I do. <laughs> that shit lord that was in the fucking subway uh, lineup and was sitting there playing on his cell phone. You're still mad about that? I am still It was mad like a year and a half ago. <laughs> You get in the line, you are under social obligation to protect, per, to participate in that line. No, I agree with you. It was a year and a half ago. And if I could find him in another line, I'd cut in front of him again. <sighs> but anyway, even though me going to bed uh, like at 10 on a Saturday is not out of the norm, you and I were out on Friday night. So, uh, like, yeah. me turning... I, like, I didn't feel bad... But turning it in early. Because we were out until like, I don't know, two? Something like that. Which is like, you know, it's a fine night. Going to bed at two. Or three for that matter. Two nights in a row? Fucks you up. I got a full eight hours rest. I feel great. I did not. I went to bed at 3 a.m. Saturday morning. And then this morning I went to bed at 3 a.m. again. That's your fault. You should go. I, I I should start texting you when I go to bed, <laughs> and so you can go to bed too, and then you'll be well rested. No, I won't. But yeah, it's been a it's been a very slow news week. I mean, there's been news, but like, boy, have I just not gave a shit about any of it. Yeah, and like normally. I find, like, a couple stories a day that's worth writing down. I didn't find a- anything. Anything I cared about. Not a goddamn thing. Um, I didn't write this down, but I was reading this yesterday. And just... I'll just tag it on to something we talked about last week about... Um, Rocket League and uh, cross-platform play. Yeah. Because somebody doesn't want to do it. Blah, blah, blah. And like I said, they have all the lollipops. They, they brought... This fucking article was like, if Sony doesn't say yes, that game's going to die. Ha! And I was like, every game that's been around for a long time isn't cross-platform. Because a cross-platform game has never existed. Yeah. Yet, there's still games that have been around for ten years, so I don't know what their excuse is. I think they were just like, "Well, well, maybe, I don't know, it seems like they're just being babies about it. I'm like, no, if your game is good, people will stay. Especially now where it's on PC. That'll never be outdated. Yeah, if it's just on PS4, Xbox One, and Switch, yeah, eventually there'll be new consoles. Yeah. It's not going to be a new PC. It's always going to be on Steam. So if, it, if your game is good, Rocket League is good, even though I haven't played it in a while, it's not going anywhere. How exciting. Oh, it's... Yeah. Um, do you like Watchmen? It's the only other thing I wrote down. I mean, kind of, yeah. I'm torn. Like, I don't really care. But I, I guess they're, they're working on a TV series. Alan Moore is going to love that. No, oh, of course it will, because it's, it's currently being run by the guy who made Lost. So we're just going to get... Alan Moore is going to break just... The comedian was purgatory all along. What? You ever seen Lost? They're in purgatory. No, I never watched Lost. No. Either have I, but I know the joke. Okay. That's the, That was the twist ending as they were in purgatory. Everyone's dead. Shocking. So kind of like uh, the anime Little Busters. Now you're talking out of my league. I don't know what that is. Oh, I just spoiled the whole thing. That's fine. I spoiled Lost. Who cares? Okay. Not that I don't think anyone's going to go back and watch Lost these days anyway. But... Yeah. Anime recommendation, uh, watch Little Busters. They're it's all pretty great. dead. It's pretty great. Uh, there was one moment where I was halfway through the second season and one character just disappears and then everyone's like, 
says nothing about it. Did they die? No. Th- th- well, I, I, I'm not... Uh, they did, didn't they? Did they come back to life? Was that the twist? If everyone else is dead? Uh, I can't... <laughs> I can't say. But no, it's just... Like, I had a panic attack. Like, not a panic attack, but a, just like a fit. When you, we were working for the, on that 3M project, and I was sit, and it was a slow day, so I was watching Little Busters, and one episode happened, and I'm like, oh no! And then the next couple episodes, I'm sitting there watching it, literally losing my mind, because that character isn't around, and no one's kind of raising the questions, hey, where's our other friend? Did they lose their memories? I, Insert I, forced Kingdom Hearts joke, because I can't think of any. <sighs> Kingdom Hearts is a fucking mess. I hate it. Oh? You, you hate your favorite series ever? Yes! I like the first game. <laughs> and after that, they all fall apart. I guess that is one thing I did. I think I did it over the last week. I wa- I watched all of the cutscenes for the, the DS game. Oh, for the DS game. Which I'd never actually done before. And, uh, God, fuck it, fuck it. Fuck that series. Did, uh, oh. To anyone who's familiar with it, there's a character named Shion, who, thank God for watching those cutscenes, because now I know her name isn't Zeon. I've been saying it wrong for a fucking decade. Uh, fuck her. That's a little rude. You have to actively pay attention because her face is different to everyone who looks at her. So you never know if it's her or actually the person she looks like because she looks different to everybody. Oh, she's like the aliens from Dreamcatcher? I don't know what that is. You don't know what Dreamcatcher is. I don't watch anime. It's not an anime. It's a Stephen King movie. Then I'm even more confused. That sounds super anime. Did Steven Spielberg make an anime? It's Stephen... <laughs> Did Stephen King write anime? I mean, some of his, his Dark Tower series is pretty anime. It... Great anime. Great anime. I don't know any other Stephen King. The one with the car. The fog. The one with the dog. Cujo? Cujo. Cujo, the best anime dog. Was he the fog or the mist? Shit, I can't remember. Because one's about ghosts and one's about tentacle monsters. Yeah. And I don't know which is which. I want to say it's the mist. That sounds right. That's the one where, like, the dad at the end shoots his entire family, then goes to shoot himself, and then these... Spoilers! Oh, who's gonna watch The Mist? Hey, there's a great scene where I believe it's, uh... Oh, fuck. One of the girls from The Walking Dead had, like, one of her first movies was that, and she just... Her big break line is, Hey, better watch out, I got more canned peas over here. Launched her career. There was a can of peas at somebody. That's it. Yeah. I want to call her Angie, but Angie. I don't think that's a real person from Walking, Walking Dead. Uh, oh, and the, and the only other thing I got was uh, Microsoft's a bunch of lazy uh, bints. Let's go with that. Bints? Let's go with They're bints. They're donkeys? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you were the one who pointed me towards the story. Uh, it's just oh. I was the one who wrote it down to talk about it. Okay. Uh, in their recent job posting, literally just said, Make us make, Horizon. Make us Horizon Zero Dawn, please. You know, it, like, to anyone who doesn't know the story, it did not say, Make us an open world RPG, or make us, uh, you know, something where it kind of crosses, like, mixes genres or mixes themes. It specifically said, we want to make Horizon Zero Dawn for the Xbox. Well, I think they want their own Horizon. Yes. Like they Which want... really just means they want an exclusive. Yeah. Unless they specifically mean 
they actually open world RPG with robot dinosaurs. Yeah, which ugh, ugh, if that's true. That's disgusting. Well, I mean, it just shows how morally and creatively bankrupt they are. They got exclusives coming. They like, they don't actually. They don't have any. I, 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 Microsoft doesn't own any exclusives, and I, I think, I don't think they ever will again. They could die. And I know some people would be I, upset about that. They, if you have no exclusives, you have no reason to exist. All of your games are on PC, and oh, they all right. run better on PC. There's no point for them to be around anymore. As a console manufacturer. You know, I'll give them credit. Their their uh, ID at Xbox initiative for indie games, you know, kickstarted some real good games. I like I like where they're throwing their money. But there's no reason for you to be in the console market if you also have PCs and PCs play your games better and all your games are on PC. Well, I mean, if you can afford a PC. Steam's doing fine. Yeah, but. I mean, if there was something on Xbox that I wanted to play... Say Anthem. I, You'd pick it up on the Xbox instead of... If, if I didn't have a PS2 mm -hmm. and my options were Xbox or PC, and right now I don't have enough money to buy a PC that would be able to run it. I mean, yeah, but in the Canadian dollar, the is Xbox One awful. X is like $1,900. Okay then. Um, yes, I'm, I'm not exaggerating getting... that price just a little bit. Why would you do that then? It's like six eighty. Six eighty. Before tax. Before tax. Okay. So like eight hundred. It's pricey. So yeah, in order to play Anthem, I'd still, I still wouldn't be able to afford a PC. So yeah, I'd go with the Xbox. Or, get this, kill the Xbox. I get, get rid of it. Doesn't need to be around. I, I think they do need exclusives. I think they, uh, because this whole, like, I get that having your games on both a PC and, uh, like, the, the console itself would kill it but at the same time I I don't know where I'm trying to go with this I'm trying See, all, all you here's all you need to do have exclusives yeah that's it I mean compare I guess I'll just say it's a cheaper alternative than buying an actual top not not even top end gaming PC a basic decent entry level PC is far more expensive than a uh, console. Because that PC that I bought from Best Buy and CyberPower was supposed to be an entry-level gaming PC. Mm -hmm. Can't even run fucking Heroes of the Storm on anything but the lowest gaming... on um, the lowest settings. You ever see those? And I don't even get 30 frames. Oh, jeez. Like... It's like, I don't know what CyberPower is doing, but between that and the whatever sort of faulty manufacturing process they have, but every so often, like, the fans won't, like, something won't work in it properly, and you'll just get this smell of an electrical fire and burning plastic. Uh, have you ever seen those screenshots of, uh... It's like TF2 running on DirectX 8 oh. at, at, at 480p. Oh. And it's just, it visually looks so bad, but because it was on even a semi-decent computer, the game's running at like 420 frames a second. Jesus. Yeah. It's beautiful. Wow, that doesn't look great. I mean, you can tell that's the Scout. Yeah. yeah that, uh, that's well, about it. I mean, but that's the that's the beauty of... TF2. Every character... You can make out every character. I would... I, I don't know. Low-res low shit. I don't know. It's got like a, a unique quality to it. Yeah. They should do that for Overwatch. Make everyone... Everybody. Give everyone a PS1 skin. 
I'd love it. Um, would that improve performance at all? Um, it depends if they did it properly. Yeah. I mean, technically, it should, but unless everyone was playing with those skins, no, it wouldn't okay. do anything. That'd be interesting if there was just... Like, hey, console players, if you want to play online at 60 FPS... Yeah. Play this mode where everyone is in, like, these demade textures so the game runs better. That'd be neat. Yeah. I'd like to see the game at 60. I know the answer, but, uh... That low gravity is real good. I haven't played it yet. Oh, so good. I've okay. done two of my placement matches. Um, I've never in my life seen more... Okay. Oh, I forgot to put the little stand up. Yeah, who cares? Uh, low gravity, ton of fun, but because everyone... Because it's way easier to get kills, I've run into... Just everyone's attack. Everyone's offense heroes. I'm like, but we still have to push payload. We still need a tank. We still need a healer. They're like, no, let's all be offense. Everybody. all Oops, all offense. <laughs> So, I've been playing a lot of Mercy lately. Actually, uh, actually, I, us I usually go uh, Zenyatta, because at least he's, like, kind of both. Or Mercy, I mean, I mean, she got that gun, but it's not really worth it. Oh, I watched, uh... Hold on, well, while we're still on Overwatch... Eh. What do you think... About uh, Hammond, and I was uh, Blizzard changed the item drop rates. Oh yeah, good. In uh, to reduce the amount of duplicates in both Overwatch and Hearthstone. Now I know you don't play Hearthstone, no. but can we at least comment on like just good or like what? Yes, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, all I get is duplicates. I've played that game pretty regularly for for you know ever since it came out. And I don't think I have more than half of anything yeah. for any person. Because the, you, you get... Like, getting duplicates is fine. Yeah. But I've literally gotten chests where it's all just duplicates. all duplicates, yeah. And you just... At that point, I'd rather just have money. Yeah. Like, don't show me what I could have had. Just show me the money. Um, I think it's great. Um, it still doesn't stop me from getting shitty voice lines, though. Yeah, every character only has, like, one good voice line, and yeah. then once you get that, you're like, they're all pointless now. I hate to say it, like, I'm not gonna shit on any one character, but I'm totally gonna shit on Sombra. Her voice lines are awful. I don't know if I've actually listened to them. Like, none of them are good. They're all, like, at least Reaper's voice lines... They're so, like, they're so bad that they're, like, they're Reaper. Yeah. He, he's edgy for a reason. Well, not, that... No, I, wait, no, one of Sombra's voice lines is just boop. That's fine. I hate it. I hate that one so much. And all I can think of is that cinematic, and I sit, and I sit... Yeah, with, that's where it's from. I hate, but I hate... She's just like, I'm so cool. Hack the planet! That's terrible. Boop is fine. I hate hack the planet. Yeah, no, that sounds terrible. I've never heard that one, but that is. Awful. Um, I don't know, I just... I can't stand any of Sombra's voice lines. I like her just heroic pose, where it's just the Dio pose. Yes. Yeah. She know, you know... Blizzard and, knows what's and up. her alt is just the world though. Yeah. E ever since uh, that Lieutenant Eddie uh, video, I have not been able to unsee that and just. Uh, I don't remember who brought it to my attention, but I didn't know this. That you know, obviously Blizzard listens to the community. Yeah. I never knew Anna got a pillow spray to spray under people when she puts them to sleep. Really? Yeah, and that's fucking great. That's amazing. Because you know what's way funnier than teabagging someone? Spraying a pillow under their head. 
That's way funnier. Because you know the first thing you'll do when they get up is look at what the fuck happened. And then just get mowed down. Oh. Oh, it's so perfect. Another Overwatch thing. Apparently Reinhardt's pick rate has gone down, which is kind of upsetting. I don't know what that means. People are picking him less and less. Oh. And Anna's down, Soldier's down. I wonder if it's because of this low gravity event. No, it's just where certain changes have been made to characters. Well, they like, certainly are playing Road- Roadhog. Roadhog picks are down. <laughs> Character might as well have just been deleted. <laughs> but apparently Zenyatta's coming back up. Good, yeah, I've been... And I was just watching a video there earlier, and he said, he was like, he was ta- saying, rather than hide in the back lines and get picked off by, uh, by flankers... Zenyatta should be played in the front line battle. Where... Yeah, well, flankers... no, because he can... Because he's not like the other healers. Yeah. Where he can heal and attack simultaneously. Yeah. Like, it's it's pretty easy. But it, healing in the front right line kind of protects you from all the flankers that are coming to get you, like a Reaper or a Roadhog. Yeah. And I was kind of sitting there and saying, oh, that's neat. Maybe I'll try playing Zenyatta once in a while. Not in competitive maybe in free mode just to kind of get my bearings because i haven't touched him since like the early days of overwatch well you and uh well basically actually i'm the minority because it's everyone we play with kind of has like their one maybe two characters if they can't get the one they wanted yeah that they play where i play everybody and like that's why i'm the worst of all of us, because I am not good with anybody, but I can play everybody. Yeah. Oh, don't get me on Symmetra, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I looked at my how many times I've died as Symmetra, and it's just... Ooh. I'll... I mean, she's my least played. I just... Yeah. Well, cause, well, her and Torbjorn, because that's just not... Actually, I did really well with Torbjorn the other day. Oh, yeah. When when you got a decent team, and you're on Tor- Torbjorn, and you're just passing out the armor, you're doing great. But it, it's... I mean, the reason why I play everyone is just because I can't get enough... Like, every game mode should just be 6v6 random heroes. No. Rotate I mean, every time like you die. That. I don't like I that. love it. I don't like that. I like my characters. Because, like, the way it works out, you could just get swamped. Everyone on your team could be healers, and everyone on their teams on everyone. defense could be bastion. It's just a train wreck. I love it. <laughs> so, I've been obsessed with John Mulaney this last week. Who's that? Uh, I sent you clips of him. Is he the one who's like goblins? Who's yelling about goblins? No, that's Alex Jones. Okay. John Mulaney is a comedian. Okay. Did I send you the Back to the Future video? Yes. It was him. Uh, he was recently... Well, I don't know how recently it was. It's on Netflix recently. Oh, oh is that that Amy Schumer no. presents? No. Dif- okay. No. Different thing. Uh... He, uh, I watched a Broadway play, is what I'm getting at. Okay. It was just a filmed play. Yeah. Um, I don't like plays. They're... Yeah. I don't know, I just never got it. I'm sure there are good ones that I would enjoy, but... Anyway, I watched, uh, one starring John Mulaney and Nick Kroll called Oh Hello, and it was like, I don't know, I won't say it was hilarious, but, like... It was super meta, because it was these two actors playing actors who were starring in a play, but also writing a play about not themselves. It was very strange. But they did have one of my favorite cameos of all time, which I don't even know if the the actual audience of the play saw, because in the filmed version they made sure you could see it. Is There's just one joke in the movie where they're talking about Matthew Broderick being behind a door. Okay. And they just keep saying he's behind that door. And every time someone goes to open the door, they're like, no, no, no. Can't go out there. Matthew Broderick's out there. And, like to, like, to the point where you're like, oh, I get it. Like, Matthew Broderick is obviously not there. And then at one point, they finally go out the door. 
and you just see Matthew Broderick. And that's it. That's his whole cameo. Is he's just behind the door going, why am I here? And it's maybe a second. And I... Oh, it's, it's good time. It's good. So, uh... What you, what you reading over there? Looking, looking for juice? Um... Some, ju- some juicy meatballs? How David Cage... Uh... His... Script for his uh, games are apparently over two thousand pages long. Yeah, scripts are long, especially for a game. And I'm sitting here. It's like. Actually, how does that? Like, how, it's how it's does... just three different articles where it's like Heavy Rain script is over two thousand pages long, Beyond Two Souls script two thousand pages long, four times bigger than movies. Uh... Detroit Become Human script is 2,000 pages long. I believe it. And I think they're all from Polygon? And it's... I mean, I I believe it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how true it is, but I was told uh, it's usually, like, about a minute per page of a script. Yeah. And seeing as video games would have, like... So that works out to being, like, over 30 hours. And those games are not 30 hours, but given all of the side shit that you never have to do and the conversations you can have when the uh, alternate paths you can take and blah, 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 like, to see all of the game... Would take. Maybe yeah. it would come closer to that 30-hour mark. Uh, so, yeah, I, I believe it. I mean... I, I, don't, I don't get him. He's never made a good game, but I buy them all. I say I buy them all, but I never bought his first one. So it's really just two games. But and you, you know I've not learned my lesson, and we'll buy the we'll buy Detroit when it comes out. Well, Detroit, that's the one where it's like androids and stuff. Yeah, sounds cool. But so does last two. <laughs> what? His last well, his, his last, last two sounded cool, or his last two had androids in them. His last two sounded cool. Oh. His last one had stand. That's true. It had a stand, and it was... I mean, there's... Okay. There's parts of Beyond Two Souls that are actually, like, pretty solid, Mm. if you ask me. But the... God, they really just want Alan Page to fuck this one dude. No matter how many times you turn him away, at the very end, it's still like, are you sure you won't fuck him? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Heavy Rain! I don't care what people say, I really like Heavy Rain. <laughs> like, parts of that game are, like, goofy, but... So I've never seen anything about Detroit. What What's what's the gist of it? There's androids. In Detroit? There you go. You're caught up. Is it, like, Deus Ex? Is it, like, Ghost in a Shell? What do you mean? Like, what... What's going on? What's the story? Uh, well... Uh, the year okay. is, the year is uh, I don't know and it's in Detroit yeah and uh, instead of everyone being people some of them are robots okay and there you go that's all we know so far and the robots think they're people yes or they want to be treated equal okay that's the story that's all we know and there's three playable characters this sounds fairly standard for a dystopian future cy- cyberpunk future it doesn't look dystopian it looks pretty clean because this is at the beginning of the revolution. Well, but that's the thing about the whole... Like... Cyberpunk futures look shiny and neat, but typically they're dystopian futures. No, I, I think this one is just shiny and neat. It really just comes down to if you think robots are people, which uh, uh, they're not. So fuck them up. I, I really, I'm not on the sides of the robots for this one. Which is upsetting because you only play as robots. You there's no there's no human character. Just well, are they robot? Yes. Robots? Or that, that's what. Or do you just have one robot who's actually a human? I mean, I mean, they might do that. A a person who thinks they're a robot and then it turns out at the end that they were human all along after they get just riddled with bullets. It, and it is entirely it possible, we, it being David Cage, it is entirely possible that 
is the case. But current knowledge is all three of them are robots, which is just very strange. When you're trying to show the struggle between man and robot, because robots are man's slave, you think at least one character would be... A human. A human. So you can see what how, how good your life is with a robot doing everything for you. But I imagine that would be kind of boring. The Ottoman... Did. Recently I watched a video about the... Uh automation of our jobs mm -hmm. holy shit we're gonna be out of work real fast Tom. No, never fun. no we're not we are not took them years to figure out how to get a robot to copy a painting Colin there are robots that know how to fly planes that's fine they don't know how to make art no they know how to make art okay maybe art but they've never animated there's never been a computer yet to animate so I'm fine Colin, it's just a matter of time before we're out of the job. Cool, then. Well, if we... If that happens, we'll have universal basic income and no one will have to work, and we'll all turn into Wally Fat people. You know, we'll all become unfuckable globs, which I'm not too far off from that already. I just need a little flying chair. I can't handle that. Why? I don't know what I'd do. Diddle yourself? Daily? Constantly? I'd lose my goddamn mind if I couldn't do something. Spend time with your friends and family and do whatever you want. I don't want to see you people. No, I don't either. I want to be locked away in my own little world. I think it might become one of those things where, like, working becomes optional. Oh. Like, everyone will make enough money to not work. But, like, I get squirrely if I have three days off. Yeah. And that's counting weekends. And on a three-day weekend, I'm glad work doesn't close. I'll just... Like, I'm glad we have keys. I will just go to work. Even though the, I have the day off, I'm like, I gotta I got do something. Yeah. That fan is not doing a god bless thing. Well, no, it's around the corner. Should I send up... Should I, should I set up the tornado? No. Sound like a jet aircraft in here. Look, we're... we're <laughs> This podcast is barely scraping by. The last thing we need is for us to be muffled out for the rest of the show. <laughs> it's just a really hot call. See, I, I'm I've cooled off, I'll, considerably. I'm I'm sleepy, because it's that kind of hot. Mm. But it's cooler in here than it is outside. Yeah. So I had this thought earlier and I don't know if this makes me a terrible person maybe it does I don't know if this is uh, ableist or uh, perhaps sexist or um, what's that one when you hate gays homophobic sure uh, I don't know if it's any of those three potentially all three of them oh shit shut down the podcast right now we are ruined forever but I don't know I, get, I, don't know, I made myself laugh uh, I was walking on my, on my way here. There, and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna judge a book by its cover here. Okay. I saw these two stereotypical looking lesbians. I, now, I don't know if they were. It's just what they look like. Uh huh. And uh, they were deaf, or at least one of them was, because yeah. I can't think of any other reason why they'd be speaking in sign language to each other. And my only thought was. Their fingers must be jacked. Anyone who can't see, Duncan is curled into a ball. So how about Marvel? I don't want to talk about that. No, let's talk about that. Okay, anyone who doesn't know, Marvel is going to relaunch every single year now. Because comics are dying. Uh, so, instead of every couple years trying to get a new fan base, they're like, how about every year? I'm kind of, I, I don't know how to feel about this. Well, okay, I feel, when I first read it, I was like, that's pretty shitty. Yeah. But then when I read that, it'll just be called issue one again, even though everything before the relaunch will still be canon. It'll just be like a new arc in that character's life. 
I feel less bad. Yeah. Because, like, I just started reading comics. I don't want them to be rebooted already. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice to have some consistency where it's not always... We're resetting everything now because a few people don't like... But, I mean, again, some of those... Some of the characters just aren't interesting anymore. And I don't mean, like... In, I don't know what I'm trying to get at. Well, I'll, you should be happy to note that out of the... The 52 books that they're they're relaunching. Um, they said six of them are new, and then I read all six, and they're all pre-existing characters, so I wouldn't call that new. Yeah. I don't know, like... So there's nothing new. Marvel's really not in a great place. Well, I don't think comics are at all. Well, no, because... Well, I don't think... Like, I've... I haven't dropped a DC comic yet. Like, I've dropped more Marvel comics. Uh, mm, actually, you're right. I think I'm the same. There's an X-Men one I dropped. I think it was Generation X. Because I, I love Venom. Yeah. And the latest Venom series where he's with this ex-veteran. Uh, I just... Ex-veteran, does that mean he's in the army again? Well, no, he's, uh, he was working with Black Cat and Scorpion. Okay. And I couldn't stand this, this guy. He was such a friggin' dick. And the Venom symbiotes just like, hey, we can be, we, we, we can be good. We could be used as a force of good. And slowly this guy's corrupting the Venom symbiote. And I'm just sitting there going like, I can't watch this or like I can't watch it because it's just this slow kind of like the Venom symbiote wants to be good and this guy just wants to be a complete and total dick I don't care for Venom I, I really but I've also never given it a chance yeah but I mean Batman Beyond is pretty good Kind of like a wait, one of those little wafer snack things. You bite into it and it tastes sweet, but then you realize you're eating nothing. Mm-hmm. So I might drop Batman Beyond. You know, you should pick up. Uh, so DC owns all the rights to uh, like Hanna Barbera. Yeah. And, oh, uh, uh, and all that Snaggletooth. Stuff. No, well, same idea, but no. Uh, they're doing a Batman Bugs Bunny crossover where Elmer Fudd is a hitman and Bugs Bunny is Warner Brothers well sure they own them too then Uh or they have some sort of deal with them because it's called Batman and Bugs Bunny but they've been doing them for a while because there was like Booster Gold meets the Flintstones yeah Uh, there's been a lot of weird crossovers lately uh, Martian Manhunter and Marvin the Martian. Mm-hmm. And I haven't checked out any of them. But the first page came out of the Batman and Bugs Bunny. I was like, I might have to check that out. Something different. Yeah. A lot, lot, of, lot of Batman. Ugh. Why, why, are you, why are you taking out your comics, Duncan? Because I'm losing my mind. It's really hot. Yep. Now talking. Um. I'm really upset that I missed that I was just a fucking idiot and didn't go get comics, and now I'm missing Hulk number seven. Well, that's better than me. Who's missing Hulk number six? Yeah, but I have number seven. (laughs) And we could be normal human beings and trade. Uh, but I know you want a copy of seven, and I yeah. want a copy of six. So we're both kind of in a different, yeah. So like we could read it, but like wouldn't solve the problem. I guess I'm just gonna have to be a jackass and go on Amazon. You can't just get them to order it, you know. I've, oh. done, I've done that before. Oh. How long does something like that usually take? Uh, well, it depends when you tell them. 
and when they put the order in. So, like, last time for me, just because of the way the dates were, it was two weeks. Um, to do that? Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Are there any games coming out that we're looking forward to? Because I'm sitting there just looking, and other than Persona 5... There really hasn't been any games I've been looking forward to. Well, uh, the PS4, uh, the long awaited in the West, Zodiac Edition of Final Fantasy XII comes to the West in a few weeks. I don't know what that is. It's just, uh. Is that that, is that the, uh, Final Fantasy that has Chewbacca, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker? It, it's, it's the Star Wars one. It's yeah. the Star Wars one, yeah. Uh, that I had many fights with one of our... Which, like, that game is great. I think it's one of my favorite Final Fantasies. But they they made a better version called the Zodiac Edition. Yeah. But it only ever came out in Japan. Now it's finally coming here after uh, ten years. Or however long it's been. Probably longer than that. I was gonna say. Definitely. Actually, definitely way longer than that. It was on the PS2. Yeah. And ten years was post-PS3 launch. So yeah, it was definitely more than ten yeah. years ago. Uh, I mean, the next game I'm buying, unless it's like a smaller indie game, is uh, Yakuza. Oh, Yakuza 0. No, Kiwami. Oh. Which, First one. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I need to get in. I, I feel I feel the need to... Experience a Yakuza game? Well, no, because I've played two of them. Oh. But uh, one of them... The first one I played was 4. Okay. Which, um... I just okay. So so many games I've played. I'm playing this, you know, the third or fourth in the series, and they're giving me tutorials, and I'm like, why do they assume I'm new to this? Like I know how to play. And so I just at that age was under the assumption that every sequel was just stamped. assumed you're brand new and yeah. you could just jump in. You cannot do that with Yakuza. It's a deep complex family history that oh. I was like what the fuck is any of this and I thought it was boring I thought the game was stupid I didn't want to read so much because it wasn't in English Ugh, it was disgusting and then I played Dead Souls which is like universally terrible it's the zombie spinoff yeah I saw that at the Superstore uh, game section back when Super Superstore's not selling games anymore I never knew Superstore was yeah no, they had, at least in, uh, back in, uh, Quiz Francis and Rossi, they had little, uh, a little section put aside just for video games. Oh, yeah, they totally did. That's They're not right. doing it anymore because it's not viable. <laughs> and I sat there and just like, no, really? You're a, sh you're a supermarket. But, yeah, after watching a full LP of Yakuza 4 that I never gave a fair chance to, and Yakuza 0, I was like, I need, I need, I need to get in. You want to play the host club, don't you? I just want to play the whole game. Uh, they look great. Uh, oh, I, I got back into my... Put my VR headset on for the first time in God knows how long. Okay. Um, <sighs> Some of those games are just really expensive. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is like a... like I had fun with the game like because I just downloaded a whole bunch of demos. Which I'm glad a lot of VR games are getting demos. Because it's a lot of money to drop on something that just flat out might not run. Yeah. Now, one of them I had a lot of fun with. It's a, a tower defense game, but instead of placing the towers, you're the tower, and you're the only tower. And you just kind of, like, warp around the map killing skeletons. But it, it does... It works really well. I played an archer, and you actually had to, like, hold your hands out like a bow and, like, pull the string and everything. It's like, like, it worked pretty well. I, I had it, Like, I had a good time. And I was like, I would totally buy this, and it's and it's currently on sale. I don't remember the name of it, though. Uh, but I'm glad I had a demo, because I found out there's no pause. The game doesn't pause at all. And that's a that's a no-no. Yeah. So, and like, I know there's, like, Dark Souls doesn't pause. No. But Dark Souls, I can kill everyone and have a safe place to sit down. If I need to go to the bathroom, if someone calls me or anything. This game, I would just die and have to start over, and I'm not doing that. Well, I mean, you could be invaded. Yeah, but this is only if you're human. So if you're not human, there's literally nothing okay. to worry about. 
Um, and then I played this other game that... Okay, so, the good VR, because you still have not touched it. I, did you last time you were at my house? Yeah, I touched it. I don't remember I at played all. the uh, Mecha Miner. Oh, right. And almost vomited everywhere. Okay, so the fun VR games are the ones with the motion controllers, because using your hands is way more fun. But I did play this, like, super fun puzzle game called Static, where your character's arms are in a locked box, and so you use the controller, and you just... Because the PS4 controllers all have motion controls on them, too. Yeah. And you just kind of, like... You just look around this fucking box and try to get your hands unstuck. It was actually super fun. I was like, I would totally... Like, if I just want to scratch my brain for a little bit, because it, like, parts of it were pretty straightforward, but then other parts I was like, there's literally, so there's literally no tutorial. Yep. It's just, here's a box locked onto your hands with a bunch of buttons and bells and whistles. Figure it out. And I was like, all right. And I actually had a lot of fun with that one. That one was called Static. I might, I might, might go back to that one, because that one is... As much as I said using your hands is funner, I have to move my table and shit out of the way and, like, clear a space so I don't knock anything over. That one I can just sit on the couch. Yeah. So it's much more appealing. Other than that, no. And you just said just, just P5 is all you're looking forward to? I mean... Which I mean is already it's out. It's already out, and I could have bought... But P5, P5, Persona 5 and Yakuza, zero. I think I finally... Figured out, I don't think I would like Persona. It's not what I thought. Like, I don't know what I thought it was, but it's not that. I thought it was just a really stylish RPG. Yeah. And I thought the Personas were, like, a, akin to, like, a Final Fantasy Limit Break. It was just, like, a cool attack. I didn't know Persona was a Pokemon collect them all and then And then when I found out... Then I thought everyone just had their one persona. And that's not true either. Well, typically, yes. They only have one persona. But there is usually the main character who, for the sake of trying to get around certain elements that, say... Because let's say the enemy is has strong uh, lightning attacks. And one of your characters is weak to lightning attacks. You don't have any lightning... Or you don't have anything that can kind of nullify or... Uh, up, they have a weakness. The enemy has a weakness that none of your characters have. You can switch out your current persona for a persona that would be good against that. Yeah, um, see, to me, that just is like blending in Western RPG. So, like, JRPG is usually... Everyone is a set character, and the Western RPGs are usually the you create your story type thing. And I don't, I don't, I don't think that's it at all. It's just trying to. It's kind of like po yes, it is kind of like Pokemon, where it's like, okay, I need a certain element to uh, oppose this guy, so I'll swap out this persona and for another persona. And the thing about Personas is that you're constantly getting new ones and sacrificing old ones to make stronger ones. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's for me. Because, like, I played... So last year I played Pokemon yeah. for the first time in 20 years. And I also played Digimon, which the most recent Digimon... Actually, it's not the most recent anymore. There's been a new one since. But it was, it was Pokemon. It was collect them all, but it was Digimon. And despite, I think universally everyone would say that Pokemon Sun and Moon was better, I preferred the Digimon one, because I like Digimon. And so I would have no attachment to Personas, so I don't think I'd care. Because, like, from screenshots and stuff, I can tell that they reuse a lot of Personas, just because, you know, it's a, it's a series. And yeah. they go, hey, uh, oh yeah, I remember that one, cool. Like, I like what they did this time. I don't care. You know, and I need that attachment. So, that's why I have not picked it up. It's sitting... It is currently to end an argument. I did put it in my Amazon cart and screen cap it and send it to somebody because I was like, well, I told them I bought the game. So they'd shut the fuck up. But, uh, 
I did not. Because I'm still punking hearts. Yeah. It's a good game. Despite everything I said earlier. Good game. Jesus Christ. But I don't think you'll get Persona either. If I had some money. Because I don't. No, that's my point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. That's why I'm not buying anything. Like, yeah, I bought Next Machina, but that was $25. Yeah. It was cheap. I don't know. Video games are just really expensive right now, and... They sure are. I honestly don't know if I... Like, I want to play video games, but... I gotta wait a couple... Almost a year till I can pick a video... Like... Well, you should just play... Dark Souls 3 came out last year, right? Mm-hmm. Um, $26 is what I paid for it. You actually bought a copy? Yeah. Huh. I wasn't going to go to the online store. No, I assumed you were just borrowing people's copies. No, um... No, they needed it back, and I, uh... uh... was like, I really want to play Dark Souls. You could have just fucking asked. I would have lent you mine. I'm not touching it. Mm-hmm. I guess that's the other thing. Like, if you really want games, I own a lot more than you. Yeah. You have got... I can see them all. There's five. Oh, wait. No, there's another pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So, you know, Okay, you own seven. Yeah. Three of them you'll never play. Because um, three of them are Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. And, uh... I've already beaten Phantom Pain. I've beat The Witcher. I've beat Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, Grand Theft Auto I've beaten and Dark Souls 3 I've beaten and then Overwatch yeah I've got 150 Jesus physical copies? no not all physical yeah. physical and digital but w- w- because my thing is linked you have access to all my games anyway except for the physical ones yeah uh, I'm very selective about what games I play I play Wolfenstein Kill some Nazis. Get excited for the new one with me. Okay. Because, boy, did people get real mad at me when I said that's the best shooter in the last ten years. And meant it. It's a pretty good shooter. Like, there's an argument for Doom, but Doom's too twitchy for me. Yeah. Like, I get it, that's what the original Doom was, but that I just don't like that kind of shooter. I do prefer the more modern... 30 FPS. I don't... I, I don't like the... You know, the Twitch shooters. Like, Unreal Tournament. It's not my thing. But... Uh, well... We, we've somehow got it this far, Duncan. What do you mean? We're, we're only 10 minutes shy. That's not bad. That's not bad. There's a lot of silence that I'm not gonna cut out. Oh, fuck off. I'm, I'm done with that. I'm done doing that. We've been doing this podcast for far too long. I don't edit it anymore. The last few episodes I haven't edited. I never edit them anymore. So while you get all of those great breaks where we just stare at nothing and say nothing. You'll get them in their, their entirety. The, the, the authentic recording process. Exactly. They get to experience it like they were here in the room. Yeah. Every awkward pause, every moment where I'm sitting there just internally screaming, God damn it, Colin. Why are we talking about You get the podcast that you deserve. You should expect no less and no more from a channel with 15 subscribers. That's a little mean. Not really. If if every video we put out could at least be watched by everyone who was subbed, maybe I'd care more. But we can't even pull that off. I don't know how. <laughs> but it, I did have a realization yes the other day where, like, I was looking at, I think it was on Game Grumps, specifically, who have, like, 4 million subs. Yeah. But all of their videos average, like, I mean, if it's a new LP, it bumps way up or something. But, like, I don't know. I'll say 300,000. 
That's yeah. nothing compared to four million. Yeah. I guess that the fact that no one watches, that no, all of your subscribers never watch all your videos is no different no matter how big or small. Because we're 15 and uh, we average uh, four, which is pathetic because I know you and I are two of them. Yeah. And there's videos that only get one. And then I know that's just me. There are some days I forget. I only don't because it's... Well, because I post it, so I, I know what's up. Like, today I didn't watch this, today's Snake Pass. I just put it on a mute. But that's only because I, like, woke up, like, an hour before you got here. And was like, fuck. Well, you were up super early first because you were up at an hour at which i would not try to talk to you i was not up i was you laying messaged there. me i was laying there face down in my bed going i gotta figure out when colin's gonna come over uh. oh to make sure i wasn't like oh i'm on my way and you're like oh no <laughs> oh no i am literally just in my underwear no i, I was also at the time in my underwear because watching glow most the only reason i messaged you is because there was this stupid baby crow going wah, wah. and i was sitting there just going i want everything to die do you know what's real fun in overwatch bah. when you're like i'm gonna be a force of positivity i'm gonna protect my team and blah blah blah, blah and i'm gonna play reinhardt and i'm gonna hold it the choke and then your entire team just runs past you and the choke and just sits right in front of spawn going, yeah, we're going to do a good job. And I'm just sitting there at the choke going, I hope you all die. I'm not coming to protect you. And did they? They all died. And okay. then I left. Oh. That's two things we can talk. I want to mention one. I saw the story, but didn't think to do anything with it. But I saw you you retweeted it, so I know you saw the story. The Radiohead fans. Oh, that were like, oh my god, that's the most amazing song ever. So, so, and then it's like, hold, we're we're just tuning. Yeah, the, there the was guys. Uh, a Radiohead concert recently, where there were tweets going out about this new song they just put out, that is like defying what music can be and it's art at its finest and they're like we were just tuning our guitar yeah oh so oh that's good it's really not much more to that story just uh pretentious yeah people being pretentious pretty much and now to to lose you for a second because i uh, i i did watch this last night and in so Actually, I'm, I'm going to say two things about that first. I, I've watched a lot of professional fights. It's what I enjoy. To, it's what I like watching. It's the only time um, where my body might have any amount of testosterone in it. The rest, it's just estrogen stew all day. But first, I got really salty when I was watching Glow. And my roommate's like, oh, you love this stuff. I was like, no, I like real fighting. This is fake, fake fighting. This is double fake. But I still like the show. But anyway, of all of the fights I've ever seen, which there are hundreds, I finally, live, for the first time, saw a double knockout. Oh? Of they punched each other and knocked each other Try out. out. I was so happy. That is... That's pretty great to see. <laughs> and like... Was it punched to the head? Yeah, it was just... Two, two guys, two, two very large men just punched each other and about dropped to the ground and the announcer almost shit his pants. Oh, oh. Was, like, I've seen clips of it happen. Yeah. But I've never but seen it live. watch it live. Oh. Oh, so good. Double KO. <laughs> but, yeah. That's pretty neat. Like, you don't even... I don't remember the last video game I saw where, like, you could double KO. Well, I, I think video games try to make it so you can't do that. Yeah. So there's a de definitive winner. Yeah. I'm just trying to think. Like, I think Soul Calibur, one of the Soul Calibur games, I remember that. 
Well, okay, in Soul Calibur... No, okay. You can both fall off the ring. Yeah. But it's still whoever fell off first loses. Yeah. Because I, I, there's countless gifts of, like, someone will fall off, and then, like, before it actually says, like, you win or whatever, they'll fall off too. Mm. But it still counts as a win. As far as I know. I might be dead wrong. But, uh, I, I guess that's it. Probably. I'm not sure what else to say. Like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that like button. I want to kill myself now. Who's liking all our videos? Is it you? Yeah. Okay, because I don't. I don't like any of them. God damn it, Colin. I like my liked videos to say it videos I actually like, which is none of ours. Well, I like some of ours. Oh, I don't. <laughs> and then I guess I get, I just got in the habit of like, like... Because I was like... always wondering, because there's always at least one. And I was like, I know it's not me. No, I, I like to keep my liked videos as, like, a playlist of memes, so I just can't have them there. If there was a way to like them, but not have them show up in that playlist, fine. Yeah. But there's not. I need to keep that spicy as possible. We're not spicy? N no, very rarely. If I cut up all, I think, episode 20 of Bloodborne went up yesterday, yeah. and... 12 of Snake Pass went up today, and then all of Mr. Masaji, all of the shit I played by myself, so like the seven or eight episodes of Edith Finch, the couple of episodes of Game for Glory, the just train wrecks that were Binding of Isaac, um, am I missing a game? Did we play anything else ever? Paladins? Did I stream that? I did. Paladins. All of the Overwatch, because I forgot that too. And all 19 podcasts. Do you know how much good material I could farm out of that? 10 minutes, maybe, of hours of content. Well, you, you know, Colin, maybe we just gotta get good. I mean, we could. Literally impossible without air conditioning. It is too hot to be entertaining. The, the LP we got to record after this is going to really suffer. Which, I mean, I guess that's staying true to form. Because the last time we recorded Snake Pass, uh, I was literally falling asleep. Uh, so at least we're... At least it's the... It's consistent. It, the quality is consistent. It's not a good, but bad consistently is, is it's better. It's better than... All over the all place. All over the place, yeah. Because then I can just, when people go, oh, you, you do YouTube? Uh, what's your channel? D don't. Don't waste your time. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I, I told you about that, that a, a friend of mine who doesn't know about the channel, it somehow got to them. And they're like, so I'm watching your podcast. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. There's a reason why I didn't tell anyone. And what'd they say? She's like, oh, it's funny. I was like, you are a fucking liar. <laughs> You're just trying to be nice. And again, like, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there has been some jokes. But very few and far between. Maybe we'll get better. Uh, actually, next week's episode will be much better because it might not exist. Which might be better than this one. Uh, Duncan is gone next week. And I have company coming over who it's a level of company and I haven't seen this person in so long that they take priority they've mentioned wanting to do the podcast or some sort of LP thing but if they change their mind then there will be there'll just be nothing um well like I was saying we could, re we could record earlier Damn, I got so much to do this week do you actually have something well I've got class going... I've got class on Monday yeah I'm going to pretend to be successful on Tuesday. Yeah. Wednesday, you have class. Yeah. Thursday, I want to try for the fourth week in a row to play Overwatch. And then I imagine you're leaving Friday. Maybe. It's a very busy week. I'd probably, I'd probably be leaving on Saturday. We'll figure that out. Yeah. And then m m maybe Friday. I don't know. We'll see. 
We'll figure it. We always do. Or we don't. We always do. Even if, like, if you ignore that one week where I uh, just didn't upload anything at all and gave no one other than Duncan a reason. It's a fair reason. Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're we done. did it! <laughs> Jesus. 90 minutes. That felt like an eternity. Oh, actually. It didn't to me, because when I first looked at the time, it was 40 minutes. And I was like, oh, this is actually going pretty all right. Uh, but that that's the podcast for maybe this week and uh, maybe next week. So if I don't see you, happy, happy, happy 150th, Canada. Actually, it will be the 150th before we record next. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, happy, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you'd call it, like, because there's stuff, like, the day we took, uh, I suppose that wouldn't be right either. I was gonna bring in indigenous genocide into this. That's what I was going for, too. But, I... And then I didn't know how to word it properly. Yeah, I didn't either, because celebrating it is not the no. word I want to say there. Go get your face painted. Go watch Dead Dead Mouse. That's free, right? It is free. He's having I'm... a free concert down the street. Damn it. Why, do you, do you like Dead Mouse? No, but I mean... But you'd go to a free concert? I'd go to a free concert, yeah. I'm surprised you'd go to any concert, actually. Well, okay, that's not I've true. Been, you, I've you've been, been to concerts. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, you never go with me. No, because you don't go to see music I like. Tupperware Remix Party is fantastic. It's not death metal. Or metal. No, or anything. Like, if, if, a, the, if a metal band of note would come, I would go see them, but yeah. there have not been. I mean, the last one I went to go see was Children of Bottom up in Montreal, up in uh, Quebec City, but I didn't know they were playing with Black Dahlia Murder, which, yeah. holy shit, their lead sitter, singer is just man tits everywhere. Oh, yeah. And he took his shirt off, and I was just sitting there, I was like, put that shirt back on. Uh, I believe the last concert I went to was, oh, no, that's not true. I was going to say, I think it was a Foo Fighters cover band, Oh. but that's not true. It was a Tupperware Remix Party uh, again, because I've seen them multiple times. Skeletal Witch is pretty good. Never heard of them. Um, they came out, or, yeah. And they came out, and one of the first... And after playing a few songs, they were like, Hey, everybody, everybody, you're having a good time! And everyone's just yelling. They are they were really good, actually. Like, I enjoyed their stuff. And they're like, Yeah, we, we're, we're American, but we have a lot of things in common with you Canadians. We both like beer. And I kind of yelled out, That's debatable! <laughs> and they're like, We both like weed. And I was like, Mah. And... Like, this one girl's just yelling her, like, just her face is red, and I thought she was going to cough up a lung. And then his last line is, we both like pussy, and she just fucking leans forward, and just her face and neck are just completely red, and her eyes are bulging, and she's just yelling. And everyone else is just... Like, I've never heard a metal concert so quiet and then just one person just (laughs) yelling. (laughs) They're pretty good. And then Children Bottom came on. It was pretty awesome. Um, Mosh pits are fun. uh, Shockingly, no emails again? Shockingly, really? Very shockingly. Our 15 subscribers are pretty fucking off the ball on this. You know, why are you so mean? There's 15 of them. Yeah. They should all watch everything. I don't think... 15 no. of them. I we're, know we're, all of them. Colin, we're doing this for fun. We're not... No. We're not... Are, are you telling me we're trying to do this and make this podcast slash channel? I mean, it's a little of both. It's not all fun. This is hell. But that's not really the podcast. It's just it's hot. Yeah. I'd be complaining about this if I was home, too. Yeah. No, I mean... No, I if it was not primarily for fun, 
I don't. We would not have almost a hundred videos. Yeah. I would have given up a long time ago. Oh. Hell, I told you I was gonna stop ten episodes ago. And we're almost another ten in. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, send us a, no, fuck it, no, I said no more, you're not doing an outro, no, read the description, it's all there, our Twitters are there, our Twitches are there, I think, I know our Twitter's there, yeah, email, also there, what are your recommendations, Glow. Glow. go watch Glow. Angel Beats, it's got, it's got, it's got, oh, no. Okay, I'll tell you after, because you won't watch Glow, but I don't want to spoil it for people who might watch it. There's a part in that gets a little anime, and I think you'll get a kick out of it. Okay. Boop.